What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I got a really cool video I want to do. I'm very, very excited about doing this video. If you couldn't tell by the title of the video or the thumbnail picture, I finally got in the mail the Superman 4K Steelbook Collection Set. This is the Amazon exclusive uh, Steelbook set. I pre-ordered it back in February, I think. It was either February or March. Um, I'm pretty sure it was February though, but I pre-ordered it because I had a feeling that this was going to go out of print and it was a limited like run. There's a like there's supposed to be like a certificate of authenticity. I, I'm not sure what number it is in there, but I knew this was going to go really quick and I knew if I didn't get it, I was going to regret it because scalpers are going to scalp this thing like crazy further on down the line. They're already scalping it now from what I saw on eBay. So I pre-ordered it finally got it in the mail today. So this video is just going to be an unboxing for this thing. I will be doing a separate video on the 4K transfers themselves and whether or not I, I would recommend picking up this set if it's still in print. I don't even know if this is still available on Amazon anymore. But I do know that the standard 4K set is still available, so I will be doing a separate video on the transfers and whether or not it'd be worth picking up those sets or not, because they're the same discs as in here. So I'm really excited. This set just looks amazing, just in the packaging still. So without further ado, I just really want to get into this, so let's start the unboxing process. Need my trusty knife first. I know some of you might be thinking right now, why would you unbox it if it's going to be a rare collectible one day? Don't you want to leave it in the packaging and, you know, Part of me wants to say sure, but the other part of me is like, I want to watch these movies on 4K. I didn't want to get just the standard edition. I mean, the standard edition would have been cool, but, you know, I'm a big fan so of Superman, so I really want the steelbook. So the little cardboard sleeve, the J card just comes right off. There's a listing on the entire back of it. If you want to go ahead and pause it, see what kind of uh, goodies you get inside and all that stuff but it's just a typical J card. I probably will still keep that because I tend to keep my J cards. And here it is. There's the steel books, and then there's the centerpiece. This is probably how I'm gonna display this. There's the other side, the front just says Superman uh, five movie collection. And then the back is just Warner Brother and DC um, legal stuff. But this is a really nice set. This is. This is made of metal, so this is like a really sturdy... It's like that Rambo 4K Steelbook set that came out back in like 2019, I think it was. And I know a lot of people wanted this type of set for the Indiana Jones Steelbooks. I kind of did too, but, you know, at least we're getting this with this uh, Superman set. So here's the Steelbook for Superman 1. It's the theatrical poster, which I absolutely love. There's the back of it. It just says Superman 1 and the film credits right there. Uh... There's the spine, Superman the movie. And then on the inside, is there anything on there? No, okay. So on the inside, you get the 4K disc, which is red, and then the Blu-ray disc, which is blue, and then you get a really cool picture of Christopher Reeve as Superman. There's no picture on this side, I already double-checked it. But you don't get a digital code with this. I assume maybe you get a digital code for like the whole collection and like the bonus feature stuff, but I'll, I'll double-check. But yeah, this is a gorgeous steelbook. It's the nice, it looks like semi-glossy, but semi-matte at the same time. It's kind of hard, kind of hard to explain. I, I, would, I guess it's like overall glossy, but there is like sort of a matte tone to the colors, but it's really nice. And just in case you guys don't know, this is, this is the same 4K disc as the 2018 release, which I still have. Um, I know a lot of people weren't a huge fan of this 4K release. I think it's all right. Um, definitely could have been a little bit better, but I'll get into that when I get into the transfer video but if you held on to this uh edition it's going to be the same disc as here so you get to decide whether you want to keep that edition or not i might keep that edition just because i don't know i'm more of a slip cover guy so and i like the oh it almost fell um and i do like the slip cover for that but i don't know i'll make a decision but superman one gorgeous steel book i'm really really happy with that next of course we have superman two and again, they use the theatrical poster art, which is really nice. And it says five movie collection on here, and that's true. Technically, it's true. It doesn't include Superman Returns. So if, you, if you're like me and you still have this crappy Blu-ray of Superman Returns, unfortunately, we still gotta hold on to that. But the five movie collection includes all four original movies, plus 
the Richer Donner cut of Superman 2, which I'm really glad it, it this set includes because I love uh, the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. A little bit more than the theatrical cut, but that's just my opinion. But, you know, I never owned an HD version of Superman 2. I've only owned the DVD collection set of Superman 2, so I am excited to check out Superman 2 in HD and 4K resolution. But anyway, there's the theatrical side, and then the spine says Superman 2 theatrical version and Richard Donner cut. Then you flip it around, then you get the theatrical poster art for the Richard Donner cut, and then you open it up, and this is what I like about it, about this uh, Steelbook set. You have Superman 2 on 4K here, and then the blue right here, and then you get a tray, which I'm really happy they did. DC tends to just stack their discs, but you flip the tray over, and there's the 4K of the Richard Donner cut, and the Blu-ray of the Richard Donner cut. And then for the inside artwork, you've got, oh, I guess it's upside down, you've got all three villains right there, you flip the tray around, and the other side, you get a you just get a picture of Lois Lane. So nothing incredible, but you know it's nice that they put some sort of inside artwork in here. And the same thing as Superman One; it's a glossy finish with like sort of a matte tone to the colors, which I really like overall. But another solid steel book. I really like the look of these so far. Next, of course, is Superman Three. I know a lot of people have come out and said that they really like Superman Three and. A lot of people grew up with Superman 3, so they are very nostalgic about it, they really like it, but I'm sorry, this movie's really bad. <laughs> this movie's really bad. I rewatched it a couple years ago when I did a Superman run through. I think it was back in like 2021, and I could barely get through this movie, but you know, it's part of the collection, so I'm glad to own it on 4K, especially the look of this steelbook. Again, the theatrical poster art, really nice. The spine just says Superman 3 right there. And in the back we get the Superman emblem with 3 on it and the cast listing on the bottom. And then you open it up. Same as Superman 1, the red disc is the 4K and then the blue disc is the Blu-ray disc. We get a picture of Richard Pryor right here. I know a lot of people love Richard Pryor in this movie and I love Richard Pryor too. He was a very funny comedian but he was just completely wasted in this movie if you ask me. He has stated that he he really wanted to do a serious Superman movie, but I don't know. He just it this whole movie just didn't work for me and I feel bad for Richard Pryor because I feel like he in my opinion was wasted in this movie, but that's just my opinion. We're not talking about the movie right now. We're talking about the steelbook sets and overall this is a gorgeous steelbook again similar to the other two, very nice looking steelbooks. I'm glad they used the theatrical poster art for these. The new artwork that they used for the standard versions, it looks pretty good and matches the first release of uh, Superman the movie on 4K, but I'm really glad they stuck with the theatrical posters for these. It, it looks really nice, it looks a lot better. Next we have Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. In my opinion, the worst superhero movie ever made. Not just Superman movie, but the worst superhero movie of, of all time. I, This movie's a dread to get through, but again, we're not talking about the movie right now, we're talking about the Steelbook. Again, we have the theatrical poster art, which I do really like. As much as I really don't like this movie, the theatrical poster art is really, really cool. So that's the front. On the back, you get a Superman emblem with the letter 4 on it, cast listing, and then on the spine, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, really nice. Open it up, same thing, red disc, 4K disc, and then you get your Blu-ray disc, and then you get a picture of Lex Luthor right here. So yeah, and again, it matches the tone of the other ones. It's an overall glossy finish with like a matte finish with the colors, but again, it's really, really nice. Again, don't really like this movie. It's, my, in my opinion, the worst superhero movie, comic book movie, whatever you want to call it of all time, but the look of it, the look of the Steelbook is really nice, and I am glad to own it on 4K. And then lastly in this set you get some nice goodie materials in here with this steelbook and it's, you know, fittingly the Action Comics issue number one of Superman, which is really cool. And then on the back is just the Superman emblem. And then on the spine it just says Superman Collections right there. Or collectibles, excuse me. But, you know, this is really cool. This is a really cool image. I've obviously never owned. Um, any edition of the first release of Action Comics. I, I'm not sure if they've re-released it at all before, but, you know, it's nice to have this artwork somewhere in my collection. So we open it up, and, oh, we get a lot in here. Okay, so I'll go through those in a minute. But inside the Steelbook is the big S Superman emblem. Really nice. 
Uh, let me go over this stuff here and, you know, I'll get back to you on that, so stand by. So inside the collectible set, we do get a digital code, which I will give away um, when I'm done unboxing all this stuff and going through all of it. So if you want the digital code, wait around for that. And then we do get a mini comic of Superman 78, which I assume is just a comic version. Oh, actually, no. Okay, I thought this was going to be a comic version of the first Superman movie, but uh, Brainiac's in here. I'm pretty sure that's Brainiac, at least. Yeah, okay, Brainiac's in it, but I don't know if that's... Anyway, um, it's a nice little comic. I've never had this comic edition, so I'll be sure I'll be reading that. And then we get another little booklet here, which I kind of skimmed through before um, showing all this stuff, and it looks like it's just images from the films. I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, it looks like it's just images from each film. I think there's some, like, production images, or maybe not. It looks like it's just images from the film, which, you know, is, is, is pretty cool. Um, would have liked to have seen something more in depth behind the scenes wise, but overall it's a nice little booklet. And then we get this really cool lenticular card of all the villains in the Phantom Zone from uh, Superman 2, or Superman 1 and 2. Well, I guess it's just Superman 1, you see them in the Phantom Zone. I don't remember if you see them in Superman 2, but either way, that's a really cool card. And we do get the Certificate of Authenticity right here. I'm number 3,033 out of 13,525. So I'll hold it up here. You can take a look at the Certificate of Authenticity. Really nice uh, certificate right here. It's nice, thick cardboard. It's not just like paper or anything like that. So yeah, that's that, that's pretty cool that they numbered all these and they give you and they gave you a certificate of authenticity for it. And finally, like I said, I will give away the digital codes for this set because I don't keep digital codes. I have no interest in digital movies, so like I usually do, I'll hold it up to the screen. Whoever gets it first gets it. So there's that. And it's gone. So whoever gets the digital codes of the Superman collection, you have until 2025 to redeem it. So, you know, I got plenty of time. But whoever gets it, I hope you enjoy it. And something else I want to mention before I close up, I do appreciate the foam insides in here and how there's individual dividers for each steelbook. That way the steelbooks aren't going to rub up, rub up against each other and get like scratches or scuff marks on it. I just want to give props to Warner Brothers for this entire box. You know, it's, it's steel, it's really nice, it's really heavy. It's got dividers in it, it's a foam inside. It's a really nice box set. If you're going to do a steelbook collection pack, this is the right way to do it, and not like flimsy paper and cardboard like we get with some releases. So that's it guys, that is the Amazon exclusive Superman 5 film 4K Steelbook Collection Pack, and just by looks of this thing, I'm very very happy with it, I'm very happy with my purchase, I'm excited to see how all the other Superman films look on 4K. Like I said, I watched the old 4K disc of the first one, thought it looked pretty good, could have been a little bit better. But I am excited to see the transfers for Superman 2, 3, and 4, and the Richard Donner cut of 2. Um, so yeah, I'll look forward to that video soon. I will be doing, like I said, a separate video on just the transfers of the films. So look forward to that. This was just an unboxing, and like I said, I am very, very happy with this purchase. And like I said, I'm not sure if that set is still available. Every time I've gone on to check, it still says currently unavailable on Amazon. But if you are interested in picking up the Superman films on 4K, I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description box to the standard editions. So if you want to pick it up, go ahead and use that link. It does help out my channel. And yeah, if you picked up this Steelbook set or just the standard edition of these films, then let me know in the comment section what your thoughts on it are. And especially if you did get the Steelbook set, I'm curious to know what other people think of it. I think it's a gorgeous set. It's easily one of the best box sets I own in my collection. I'm gonna have to do a video <clears throat> on box sets in my collection because I got quite a bit of box sets and got a lot of favorites so if you want to see that video also uh, let me know in the comment section about that as well and just like always guys thank you again so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and share it subscribe right here if you haven't already and until next time guys take care